Okay, what's up? So, currently heading to the district convention here for the AA, uh, Apostolic Assembly. My cousin Austin is getting set aside, and my very close friend Moses is being ordained today. So, I'm going to show up and get some photo and video of them, and I'm bringing you all with me. You know, just uh, coming to get some photos of the ordination. Okay. Austin's getting set aside, and then Moses is getting ordained. So, yeah, and then I just thought I'd vlog the whole thing just to. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Loving the stash, man. Loving the stash. That's, that's good. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? I'm just talking simply stepping it up. Oh, dang. <laughs> Found her again. So, hopefully all the clips of praise and worship and everything, and I think ordination will be in here, but it's time for the preaching, and it is already 5, 5.40ish. I'm not a huge fan, 5.34. Not a huge fan of long preachings and long winded services, so this may be the time where I dip, but it may also be the time where I just kind of go around saying it's anybody who wants me in the vlog. Ordination service is really cool. I got to see Moses and Austin and uh, little Steve and David too. They got set aside, Moses got ordained. So it was really, really cool experience. Overall, great service, great convention. Um, I can't wait to go and eat. Hey, congrats, man. So this is, uh, this is Steven. Hey. Just got set aside today. How are you feeling? Feeling good? Feeling good. Same. Same. Yeah, this guy right here. Go. All right, man. All right, man. Love you. I got some. Uh, I got some photos and video of you too. So, I'll be editing that, and then I'll send it to your parents and everything this week. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Got you, man. God bless. bless. Alright, usher, usher of the day. 
This guy let me in behind the scenes. This is the go right here. VIP section. He's got the hookup. He's got the hookup. Actually, I'm gonna try to go get some cookies. That's where I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get some cookies. All right. So usually, what's up? Oh my gosh! Look, the uh, <laughs> Call of Duty player right here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice to see you too. I heard they're legendary. Yeah. Hey. All right, Turtle Crew Productions. Take a photo of it. Turtle hey, don't Turtle. take a photo. Take a photo. All right. Yo, he's vlogging. No way. Like so if you guys have not had a double tree cookie, they're supposed to be legendary. Warm to the touch. Warm to the touch. Yeah. All right, we gotta try it out. You gotta, you gotta give us an honest review. Okay. Moist. Do the break. Ooh, nice break. Mmm. A little bit of a crunch. Moist. Chocolate's there. Nutty. Mmm. One to ten, I give it a solid seven. Solid seven? Out? Yeah, yeah, All solid right. seven. All right, so solid seven out of ten. For the double tree cookie, that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Y'all know I got my rating scale. <laughs> so, do the pull, the break. Ooh, ooh. All right, still a little bit of melted chocolate in there. Mm. It's got a crunch. I believe there's walnuts in it. So there's walnuts in it, adding that crunch. Still warm, which to me, man, it's superb. Making sure your cookies are still warm, straight out of the bag. That's key to having a good cookie. Chocolate, it's not too chocolatey. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, but it's just, it's, it's hitting that right amount. To where it mixes with the the savory of the walnut pieces it all together i'm gonna have to agree this is a good seven out of ten cookie seven out of ten You want me to grab my other camera real quick to get, take some photos with you guys? Will you? Yeah, let me, let me go in and grab it real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So real quick, this is my best friend, brother. This is ride or die right here. This is no. Benji. He's the ride or die. This this is the goat. Works at Best Buy. He can hook it up. Any equipment you need. Benji's your guy. Say what's up, Ben. Yeah, no problem. Dude, I was gonna be like, yeah, where'd you get that equipment from? I just can't. actually everything here has been purchased from Best Buy Why? that I've been using. For the most part. For the most part. Let's go sit on these chairs. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat real quick. Oh, I take a seat. I have an extra one if you want an extra one. You do? Guys, this is Dario. This is another goat. He plays guitar. Yeah. <laughs> say what's up to the say what's up to the people. What is this for? CTR. Oh, yeah, creative. This is the creative drip. CRTV. CRTV. Creative, yeah. Oh, look at another goat, bro. Oh, shoot. But. 
Yeah. What do I say? Yeah. There you go. Caleb. Yeah, Jacob. Caleb. Bishop Moses, Bishop Moses, how are you feeling, Bishop Moses? <laughs> See, honestly, I'm tired. I'm okay. very hungry. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. So, currently waiting for my dad. We're gonna be going to Fuzio's to go and put in our table or something. The uh, the goat piano player right here. Were you on piano today? Keys? Organ. Organ. Did amazing. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. I just followed everybody else. See you later. Later, man. Bye. What's up? Uh, so, as I was saying, We'll be going to Fuzio's. I don't know. I've heard, I've heard Fuzio's is good. I've heard Fuzio's is bad. And I'm not gonna walk into this restaurant thinking it's good or bad. I think I've only had it one other time that I can remember. But we may just make this a uh, Nate rate video as well. Just depending on what the situation looks like, uh, size wise of the table and everything like that. Oh look, there's a the family. Let's get a shot of them walking. See who they're possibly making cannon now? Star <laughs> Killer? Because he's in the uh, Crows, Sam right? Whitwer. Sam Whitwer is voicing somebody. And we think it's the. Oh, the mask guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, bro, that's him. I'm just worried of. Like, how cannon is he going to be like the Force Unleashed? Because that's not yeah. cannon, but I don't he'd be think... the greatest. Yes. He would be the greatest character ever. So I was watching some videos on it, and I think, I don't think they're gonna make it the Force Unleashed accurate. Okay. It's gonna be Dave Filoni's okay. uh, Star Killer. So he's not gonna be as powerful. Okay, question. Do you think it's gonna be the clone of Star Killer? I think it'll be the clone. Not Star Killer himself. Yeah. So I think Star Killer himself would have already passed by this time, right? I'm trying to think. Well, I'm back. just thinking if Vader killed the real Star Killer, because in this Force Unleashed 2, you play as the clone. Right. right? He play as a clone, but then in the alternate ending of Force Unleashed 2, the reg, the real one comes back and kills you, or is it the clone that kills you, or is it another? Because another, remember, isn't the whole storyline he's making clones of Star Killer? Yeah, I think it's another clone. I could be wrong, but that's where you battle uh, Princess Leia. Yeah. All right. So we're here at Fuzio's. I'm not gonna finish this all. I got the bacon mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is like 18, I think. With uh, chicken. Try this out. Alright, that's a wrap on, well, that's a wrap for right now. We're gonna go say happy birthday to Gabrielle because it is her birthday today. And then we'll be hanging out with Austin and the guys, uh, wherever they're at. So, might be out pretty late tonight. And then editing probably this whole vlog to be up tomorrow. So, it'll be the start of a daily, daily vlog. 
So let's go. Snoke will never be a real villain in my eyes. Sequel trilogy is the absolute worst. It doesn't absolute exist. Worst. Nope. In like 98% of the community's mi mindset, sequel trilogies don't count. Yeah. I hate them. 